You're, you're a reigning champion, Bobby Moat, and uh, obviously that's been a big pot in your flower bed, but what, how important is it for you? How, how many times have you won the average uh, after two head at this rodeo? You know, I don't know for sure. Uh, there was a long stretch there where I couldn't place here. So, like, I don't know, six or seven years probably I came here with hardly win anything. Mm -hmm. And so then it seemed like a few years ago I did good. One year I did good, and it was on there in Houston. And uh, I won both rounds in the average, and then I had to go to Houston for the finals. And so I didn't get to ride in the semis or the finals. Right. But uh, the last couple of years, this has been really good for me. And that was back when Houston was a PRCA rodeo, yeah. and that money counted. So you, yeah. And this was a, basically a bonus right. uh -huh. rodeo. Tell me, um, that horse, Scarlet Fever, had you been on that horse before, and did you know much about it? I didn't know much about it other than we'd had that horse in the, in the TV pen at the NFR. And all those horses of that lineage, um, Sparky Dries and J Bar J Rodeo has uh, the majority of that bloodline, but it's branched out when Jim Zinzer, who owned the uh, original bloodline, sold, sold and dispersed. Then a handful of contractors got them, and that bloodline makes up 10 of the 15 best horses going right now. So when you have one that's bred that way, then you're pretty sure it's going to be good. Yeah, that's a night jacket colt. Yeah. And that's, we, we're Out seeing a lot famous of famous mare called Scarlet, which yeah. Scarlet's Web, and there's several other Scarlet, Scarlet horses. Yeah. So, you know, dynamite genetics. And so. um, tell me, what a, you go in as the top gunner, but it's a clean slate semifinals, and you've taken advantage of that clean slate semifinals before. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your approach heading into tonight? It's the same as always, just try to make a good ride. You know, I hope to get on two tonight and uh, make two good rides and, and see where it puts me. Yeah. Um, last year you won the semifinals and then you won, you split the round in the, in the short round. Uh, you have won two of the last three RNCFR titles. How, does, how do they compare to you to your four gold buckles? Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's the end of a, of a season. I mean, you went to all the circuit rodeos and, and, and our circuit, the Columbia River circuit, uh, when our circuit rodeos start up, it, that's the place to be for everybody. And so those are tough rodeos to win at. And so, I mean, it does mean a lot to, to not only have a Columbia River circuit you're in title, but then to come here and, and uh, capitalize on this opportunity, it's, it's a big deal. I mean, they only give one out. Yeah. So <laughs> there's a lot of guys shooting for it. Yeah. Did, what did you use the $20,000 voucher on last year? Do you remember? I got a uh, 2013 Ram Laramie loaded, you know, four-wheel drive crew cab dually. What pickup. would you do if you got one this year? I probably would uh, rodeo in that this summer and then at the <laughs> end of the year when I got some miles on it, I'd add the voucher to the truck and get a new one. There you go. Yeah. <laughs>